everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Precious Robbins with Precious Python, and I am back with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. For today's video, I am going to be catching you guys up on what exactly has been going on over here at Precious Python. So that's pretty much going to entail uh, the pairing that I have planned this year, the pairing that I've been successful uh, with so far. I do have some snakes and some tubs that should still be locked, but we'll see. So I'm going to get right into it and uh, we'll see some snakes. So my goal for this year was to pretty much make my own hex and make my own multi-gene visual recessives uh, to include clown, pied, and desert ghost. And I wanted to take a much different approach to my breeding plan this year versus the years prior, uh, just because, you know, in you know, 2019, 2020, 2021, I really did focus on investing into the hobby, which I have absolutely no regrets in doing. Um, I think it was a really, really great approach for me, but I wanted to slow down on the buying and investing and focus more on the creating and what I, what I wanna make, you know, five years from now, 10 years from now. So that's pretty much been my focus, you know, with this season is making those hats so that I can make double visuals and triple visuals in the in the future so we'll take a peek at what's going on here right now um i, I have a girl that just had her pre-lay shed uh today i'm not going to take her out um just because i don't want to disturb her but i will show you guys so this is my pastel hat clown she was paired to my pastel calico clown so just honestly hoping for some visual clowns. Uh, calico clowns are really amazing. Um, there will be for some potential as well for killer clowns. So uh, there's her shed right here. But she definitely is gravid, um, even though she doesn't quite look it, but she should be laying in about a month or so. So here is a confirmed lock between a super entry, super orange dream male to a fire spider. Uh, she's my only spider and she is around 1600 grams now. Um, so if she's around three and a half, four years old. Um, so I went ahead and paired her. Uh, not a pairing I was actually anticipating. She just became, you know, breeding size and age. And so I really wanted to just go ahead and, you know, get her in the, the breeding rotation. But, you know, Enchi Orange Dream spiders are really, really dope. Um, so I am looking forward to seeing what comes out of that, especially with the fire um, in there as well. So I will go ahead and give them their privacy. But I have a few more that hopefully should still be locked. So here's another one, still locked. Uh, this is a um, this pairing is a leopard pied to a cinnamon banana butter. This girl just laid for me in October, um, so she got back on food really fast, and was showing signs that she was you know ready to breed. Um, so hopefully she goes again around the same time of year. Uh, around you know between the fall and winter but it's very possible that she might go in the spring next year so uh, she hasn't really been showing any signs of um follicular growth but you know i'll, I'll keep an eye on on her but um this pairing they've locked i believe twice so it's still very very early and we'll see so this Pairing, or I should say pairing attempt, <laughs> is a, a super chocolate hypo het desert ghost to a 
Firefly Het Desert Ghost. Um, she's definitely been showing signs that she is wanting to walk. She's even been laying on this male. I'm not sure what is going on with him. He's a proven breeder. I've gotten uh, two clutches from him. So I'm not sure why he's kind of being very shy, but um, he definitely hasn't been showing any type of like courting behavior uh, when I put him in tubs and she's not the only one I've tried pairing him to. Um, one female, however, that he has locked with multiple times is this girl. She is a leopard head desert ghost and she's showing amazing signs of follicular growth. I'm almost positive she's going to go for me this year. And again, she was paired to the super chocolate. She was also paired to my super enchi pastel desert ghost here. He's an amazing male. And, um, you know, I'd be happy with either outcome, whether I get Enchi, Leopard, Pastel Desert Ghost, or if I get, you know, uh, Chocolate, Leopard, you know, Desert Ghost, I'll, I'll be pretty happy with that. But I have another pairing here. They were locked this morning. I don't know if they're still going to be. They are. I don't know if you guys can see that, but his tail is slightly under her tail. And this is a freeway to a lesser Enchi. And honestly, I had no, you know, reason or method behind this pairing whatsoever. Um, I do want to make more freeway and highway combos. So this was just an opportunity to get Enchi into my freeway projects. Um, I'm not I'm not really too enthused about having like lesser in those combos, but you know, what will be held back will be, you know, Enchi, uh, Yellow Belly, Asphalt. Um, so we'll see what I get out of that. I do wanna show this girl, she just laid for me. Um, about 30 days ago and she's doing amazing she's back on food um destroying food her body structure looks very very good um this is a black head she was paired to a uh, pastel clown and i'm very very excited to make black head head clowns because uh, my plan with that will be to hold back a male grow that male up and pair him to her and another few clowns I have that are also growing up, but this girl is full blown ready. Um, and I think she's going to go for me this year. Um, she wasn't paired to a blackhead head clown this year, but this year I also paired her to the pastel calico clown. Really want to get some visual clowns um, that I've produced myself. So she's an Enchi lemon blast clown. So the pairing with the Pastel Calico Clown is going to be a great opportunity to make Enchi Clowns, Enchi Pinstripe Clowns, um, Killer Enchi Pinstripe Clowns. Like, you know, so there will be so many um, opportunities to hit mu multiple visual clowns or multi-gene visual clown. So I'm excited about that. One more girl that I've been pairing this year as well is this beauty. She is a pastel and she vanilla. Um, it's crazy because she's so bright. People have asked me if she's a desert ghost and she's not. Um, she's just super bright. I absolutely, absolutely love her. I paired her to the super enchi pastel desert ghost uh so you can imagine i want to make hats some head desert ghosts but in the visual version i think of an enchi vanilla desert ghost will be pretty sick so that's the the plan for that and we'll see you know if she goes this year but she's been growing she's been killing food um i'm hoping that she goes off of food soon that'll show me that she'll be pre preparing for her um, you know, pre-lay shed and laying hopefully in the next 
six months or so or maybe sooner but we'll see another girl that laid from me this year is this fire pie she was paired to the super enchi super o orange dream and i was really hoping you know obviously to make some pied heads and um unfortunately she did lay uh what 60 days ago and her clutch didn't make it i think she gave me seven eggs uh, no there was i think it was six eggs and i was really really disappointed i'm not sure what happened but honestly the the timing was not the best it was right when i moved into this house and i was trying to really get my um incubator set up and accu accu um, acclimated um and i couldn't get the temps right because you know the snake room is upstairs and there were some issues in the beginning and unfortunately her clutch was in that incubator when i was trying to get it right and didn't didn't go too well so hopefully though she'll be ready again to start pairing this fall i'm going to give her some time obviously as you can see she's back on food she's in amazing in amazing shape she has really just completely bounced back i could probably pair her right now and she would be fine but i'm gonna wait um i like to make sure that my bull pythons have at least 20 meals and seven months in between laying so she has some time to go and you know i'll probably be pairing her again in the fall so and it might do the same pairing i really wanted to make those enchi orange dream het pies those those would have been really awesome so uh but things do change so we'll see what happens and you know where my plans kind of go from here so i know i'm all over the place with this video <laughs> but i did want to show the clutch that is in the incubator uh i have uh, 30 days left maybe three weeks i have to check my calendar but um as you can see the eggs still look beautiful so got a little bit of mold right there but these eggs i have no doubt that you know all of the snakes are going to come out of there health healthy hopefully so um and then i'll be adding the clown clutch to my incubator once the girl lays that's all that i have for today's video but if you guys have any questions about my pairings, please feel free to comment down below. Hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. Send me a direct message. Uh, like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And make sure um, you stay tuned because I did have a clutch recently hacked out from a pairing that was my super chocolate hypo hat desert ghost to my cypress spot nose. Um, really, really excited exciting results and um i didn't show them in this video today because i kind of want to talk a little bit about it and i also um want to wait for some of the babies to finish shedding so i'll be making a video uh, showing what i got and um how i feel about the clutch and what will be available from that clutch but anyways thank you guys for tuning into this video um and i hope to see you guys next time